Willie D. Live. People still taking dives in boxing. <laughs> 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 no, people just when they start getting their ass whooped, they say the check is made, man. I'm not going back out there. And some of these trainers shouldn't let their fighters go back out there. I just yeah. seen a fight like on the undercard of this Lomo Check and Devin Haney. I was like, one of my undercard kids was fighting a kid. And I was like, his name Adula Mason. I was like, I don't know why they keep sitting that man out there. And my kid ended up knocking him out in the last round, but they could have stopped that fight after the fourth round, man. That dude was punishing that kid pretty bad. Yeah. They should have stopped him. But do I think people act now I think people know they ain't gonna win. You know what I'm saying? But do people actually talk about, you know, oh, you're gonna lose this fight, you're going now. Nah. But there are promoters know that you ain't gonna beat him. But if this dude don't do what he's supposed to do, you can get your ass whooped. You know what I'm saying? It can happen. Yeah. It can happen. How likely is it that Shakur Stevenson fights Tank Davis? Well, they going to have to fight. One thing about it is just like when me and you go back all the way into the 90s. You know, at some point, you know, they both keep winning. It's like, what are you going to do? The money going to get so big, you know, Floyd Mayweather fought. They was talking about Floyd Mayweather fighting Manny Pacquiao seven years earlier before they ever fought. Seven years earlier, they both probably would have made $10 million apiece. When they did fight, the pay-per-view did $460 million and the gate did $82 million. They both made over $150 million in that one night. Mm -hmm. So they eventually going to have to fight each other. There's no doubt about it. But I don't have no problem with it happening, you know, two years from now. It just makes the money get better. So uh, pretty much what you're saying, all they got to do is be like you and keep winning. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I gotta tell you, I'm winning in life when I hear Paw Paw. I yeah. just want to hear my grandkids. I'm good. Yeah. That's real talk. Yeah. I ain't going to tell now one of my fighters to keep fighting just for me to make money. Yeah. I ain't go for Shakur, Jarek, no, no. They yeah. want to get out the game. I ain't got no problem with it. I ain't going to say, man, you crazy. You don't keep boxing. I ain't going to say that. Now it's called prize fighting. If you sitting up here and you can make $30 million and somebody talking about $25 million, but you like, I ain't going to fight unless they pay me $30 million. I'm like, look, man, we done got to all the negotiation. This is all can be made. You mean you going to not fight at all? I would tell him, now that don't make no sense now. Because... This fight is happening now. What if you go and get in a car wreck and break your leg and end your career? Mm -hmm. You're going to think about, wow, things can happen. It ain't got to happen in the ring. Yeah, and I've seen that happen. you see seen that happen. I've seen that happen. <laughs> that money on that table, man. Take, <laughs> take that money off the table and then ask for some more. There you go. Now get the money off the table. That's how that, that's how go. that go. I mean, you know we done did all we can do. It's just like the Joe Morant. He keep this up, and this doesn't happen. Once they remove you out, totally out the NBA, now you ain't no threat to nobody. Mm -hmm. See, my point now, they ain't got to worry about how much money that uh, you missing or nothing. You ain't in the NBA no more. So you the only one got messed over. Because if this team get rid of you and they ban you, nobody wants you. This doesn't happen. Look what the, call, the, the football player, they just taking a knee. Now, at the end of the day, he was really telling you why I did it. Then the officer do what he did and killed a man with the knee. Now everybody understand, wow. Now, they didn't let this man play no more this, because of that. This man was still could play football. You understand what I'm saying? But they just moved it all out to the equation. They done did that with a few basketball players. I can't think of one basketball player. They offered him back in the day a $30 million contract. He said, man, I can't take care of my family with this. <laughs> now, all of a sudden, he ain't playing at all. Next day, you read, he done lost the house, the yacht, everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it was 30, this was over 20 years ago when this dude said something like this. $30 million is the same equivalent of $300 million now, 20 years ago. Still the same. The same house that cost you $30 million 20 years ago, that house was $2 million. 
They get the numbers mixed up with it. They, 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 hey, they don't understand it with it. They. A fool and his money will always part. Yeah. And that's what that be my whole story. You want to have a conversation with me about life, rather sports or whatever it is. I'm going to talk about the real world. Because in that third world over there, what we tripping on talking about, we po you ain't seen po until you go to a third world country and you see kids with no roof over their head, eating off the ground, dying because they got nothing to eat, no running water. That's crazy. Yeah, sleeping on the dirt floor. Sleeping on the dirt floor. How can yeah. you not feel yeah. their pain? Yeah. And we worried about silly stuff. Like, come on, man, it, it ain't right. Well, man, I appreciate you, man, uh, sitting down and and allowing the people to eavesdrop on one of our conversations. Oh, yeah. See, this is what yeah. I'm talking about. And yeah. then they want to know why we at peace all the time. See, we yeah. this conversation that we let them get the real us, then now we can tell them, man, find you somebody else to fool with, my brother. Because whatever we went through, we're going to put that to rest in 30 seconds. We're done with that. Tomorrow yeah. is not even a conversation for us. Right. We moving on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Leonard. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, King. Hey, everybody tune in to Willie D Live. No more you talk. You're going to get it raw and uncut. <laughs> <laughs>